Carmen. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in central lockup. I'm a meeting with my lawyer. You're not happy to see me? Well, if it isn't Detective Vitoro. You remember what we discussed. You say anything to Gus, and you will regret it. Hey. It's not a problem over here, is it? Of course not. Yeah. Except with you, what are you doing here? Your ship was over hours ago, and yeah. mine's not over for another hour. For a second, I got some good news for you. There was a message in the machine from Philip. He said he's over at the Beacon with Zach. You know why? Because Santa Claus is over there. I'm thinking maybe she should go over and see Zach. Oh. Yeah, Santa Claus. Um, I, I can't, I can't leave right now. Oh, you can't what? What, you got paperwork to do or something? I'll do it for you. Go on. No, that's not the reason. Honey, go on and see your boy. Go on. Go on. Well, I guess I could leave. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you thank you. Me? Listen, why don't you uh, walk me out to my car? All right. Okay. Sure. I'm just here to get something quick to drink. I was wondering if I could just uh, wait over. Well, Ross. Hello, Blake. Anything in those bags for me? Uh, that was a caterer. They're running a little late, but she asked me whether we wanted scalloped potatoes for dinner or mashed, and I said scalloped. Mm. Good choice. Really? We agree on that, too? Isn't detente divine? Listen, I, I know what I said earlier. I do appreciate the breathing room you've given me with Alan lately. And I really appreciate the fact that you're going to hold off on having a baby for a while. Well, we're of like minds on that one. I want to spend some time with Alan alone one-on-one, -on -one, but make no mistake, I do want to have a child with him. Yeah, of course. Another son for Alan to dandle on his knee. I guess that'll make him happy. Me too. Listen, Olivia, I've always only wanted what's best for this family. You know something? I'm beginning to think that that just may be you. Oh. Well, the family's gonna have to do without me for a couple of hours. I need to run into town. Well, in this weather. Well, you know how Alan loves globes? I, I ordered this really fantastic one from Simmons, and I need to get down there before they close. Where are my keys? They must be upstairs. He's gonna love this gift. I can't wait to see his face when he opens it. <laughs> Bye. from the jewelers before they close. I won't be long, okay? Alan. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you here to see Santa Claus? Yes, he is. Well, you better get in line then. Uh, well, actually, we're gonna wait till his mom gets here. Okay. 
Okay. Well, don't wait too long. Santa's got to get back to the North Pole tonight. Okay, we won't. We won't keep Santa. Okay. You know what that means? That means you got to get ready, because Santa's going to ask you what you want when you get up there. Do you know what you want? Do you know what you want? What do you want, Daddy? What do I want? Buddy, I've already got the greatest gift I could possibly get. I've got you and your brother and sister. That's all I need. I'm with Rovin's Jewelers in oh, the shopping concourse. Uh -huh. There's some lovely things this Christmas. You well. might just find the perfect gift for his mom. Um, actually, his mom and I are not exchanging gifts. We're divorced. Oh, well, I'm sure there's another special lady in your life who'd love a thoughtful gift, too. Um, afraid not, but thanks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, I don't want to break this guy's lap. Very funny. Yeah. Talking about your son. Where's Jude? Uh, he's home with Michelle and uh, Mel, you know, baking Christmas cookies. Oh. Hey, where's James? Uh, James and Lizzie both have the flu. They're home. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. yeah, I wish I knew Santa was here. I would have brought my son. He would have loved this. But what are you doing here? Reverend's Jewelers. Bought a little trinket for my beloved. Yeah. Did you find something nice? What do you think? I mean, I don't want to pat myself in the back here, but my wife loves every gift that I get her. She just does, doesn't right? say it. She loves everything. Well, that's good. That yeah, means that you know her. You're on the same wavelength. <sighs> Is there such a thing as being too happy? Uh, <laughs> I have very little experience with that. Oh, come on. That's a serious yeah, question? Yeah, serious. No, Rick. My God, man, how long have you waited to be exactly where you are right now? A little less than forever. All right. Yeah. So don't... <laughs> Don't question it. Just bask in your blessings. You deserve it. Man, you're a poet. You, that was so beautiful. I don't want to invade your space, man, but that okay. deserves a hug. <laughs> Can we just all get along? I love you, man. Great. I love you. I love you, too. And I love you. I love both of you. You guys deserve to be happy. Mm -hmm. You want us to be yes, happy? Yes, I want you guys to be happy. You Take deserve to be happy. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Thank you. I'm so into me and my happiness. Yes. We but know. I want you to be happy. I am happy. Are you? Yes. Why wouldn't I be happy? Because Mel and I met this girl at the gym. She's uh, okay. really no, beautiful. No, yes, no, yes, no, no, no. Chance. Rick, I, I look, listen, just listen to me. I love you both for caring so much. Romance is the last thing on my mind right now, OK? You just relax and enjoy your holiday. All right? Don't worry about me. I'm, I'm fine. All right. You want to know what's wrong, Olivia? I'll show you what's wrong. Oh, no. No? Oh, I think that's a definite How yes. Did you... You weren't supposed to see that. Oh, obviously. No, not because I didn't Because want... that's proof that you cheated on me with my son. Because it didn't mean anything. It was meaningless. Yeah. Just minutes before our marriage, you were convorting with my son, Philip. Now, you're going to say this is some kind of a joke? No. Are you sure? You should, because it was a joke when we, I caught you kissing him in, in the hot tub. And then I walk in on you two here, kissing, laying on this bed, giving me a heart attack that almost killed me. Of course, that was just payback, wasn't it? It was. That's all that was. Well, you and Philip are completely alone in that elevator. There is no way that I can step in and catch you two. So don't insult my intelligence by saying that this was some kind of a joke, all right? I wasn't going to, okay? If you give me half a minute to get a word out. Look, you're right, okay? That wasn't a joke. Oh, it was a momentary attraction, okay? It meant nothing. It's over. I married you. That's supposed to make me feel better. Th th this is your explanation. I married you because I love no, you. No, you married me because you had to, because if you didn't, you would lose everything. That's why you hid that tape I from me. I didn't just try and hide it. I tried to get rid of it, destroy it, because I knew you would misunderstand. I knew you would think that it meant something when it didn't. You just said it did I mean something. I want you. I want you. I want you. I know maybe it, it's taken me longer to, to understand and appreciate what we have, but I do know I would never do anything to jeopardize it, I swear. I know you're hurt, and you have every right to be, but I am telling you, this tape, it's the past, and you and I are the future. We have come so far. Oh, God, 
what we have is so good, it's so right. Please, please don't throw it away. Buddy, your mom should have been here by now. Maybe she didn't get my messages. But you know what? If it takes too much longer, we're just going to go see Santa. Hi! Yeah. I'm but, here. Oh, I made it. Hi! Hi. Go say Isn't hi to this mommy. exciting? Hi to oh, mommy. we get to see Santa Claus together. Can you believe it? Afraid you weren't going to make it there for a while. Well, I didn't get much notice, did I? Look at Santa. Is that Santa's elf? You got all the notice that I could give you. Really? Yeah. One, one phone call in my answering machine at home? I even tried my cell. Try me at work. The, the traffic was terrible. The hey, snow's picking up. Right mom's there. here. Come on, let's go. Yeah, here you go with Santa's elf, and mommy and daddy will be right over. I'm just gonna take off my coat. What? You were saying something? Yeah. I was saying that I did call you at home about two minutes after I found out this was going on, and I did try you on your cell, but you were out of range. But you know, it's okay if you'd like to continue with the attitude and spoil this for our son. By all means, please go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm tired. It's been a long day, week, month. Great. So what did Gus do this time? You mean besides being kind and supportive to track me down at the station to give me your message and then covering the rest of my ship so that I could sorry. make it here in time? Sorry, sorry. I, you were upset. He's usually the source of it. No, you are. So, uh, did, um, did Mr. Wonderful tell you that he came by to see me and ask me to rethink my position? Rethink your position? What, are you a world power now? Yes, he told me. Oh, good. Well, okay, maybe you can explain it to me then. Because for some reason, he seems to think that telling me that the man that he pushed off the roof when he was a teenager was a cop in the Santos crime family, somehow that's going to convince me that it's okay for Zach to be around him. Okay, well, first of all, uh, Gus is not the one who did the pushing. Oh, that was God. Eden. Yeah, this song is getting and second so of all, the reason Harley. that she pushed him is because it's the man who killed her father. Okay, so what, you're now advocating an eye for an eye? That's interesting. I'm not Lies. advocating Lies. anything. All I'm trying to explain to you is... What? I'm just... I'm just saying to you that I... I cannot reason with you on this subject, and frankly, I'm sick of trying. Okay. have you asked yourself why you can't reason with me on this subject? Because I would suggest to you the reason is because every time you try, it becomes more obvious to you that I'm right. Because Gus and his sister are a couple of losers who break the rules any time it suits them. But you know, I'm, hey, I'm sure it's not their fault. I'm sure that it's, uh, it's probably a family thing. It's probably just hereditary. What are you doing here? Hey, uh, I'm really sorry that she's here. I, when you were called down, I didn't know she'd still be in this cell, so... It's no problem. Don't worry about it. This uh, statement for you to sign, so... I'll be there in a minute. It didn't have to turn out this way, Danny. No, you're right, it didn't. You know, all I ever wanted was to be able to trust you. For you to put your family before the family business. To act like a real mother, the way you did when we were kids. I'm still your mother. And I still love you. <sighs> yeah. If... For you, that means putting your own needs before everyone else's, including your own son's. You're the one who betrayed me. For my survival, you gave me no choice. I'm sure Michelle is thrilled to have you back. Why do you care? So, you're both back on track? Mm -hmm. One big happy family? Why wouldn't we be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you lied to her for weeks, made her think you were dead when you weren't. Most women would be upset by something like that. You know, I'm really glad I will never have to hear you insult my wife ever again. Is she? Is she still your wife? Of course she is. In name only. She hasn't forgiven you, has she? There's nothing to forgive. <laughs> I knew it. 
You make this big sacrifice, and instead of being grateful, she sends you packing. You turn on your own mother, and what do you get in return? Nothing. So, I managed to get the last Alana doll oh, in the store. Yes, that's my girl. <laughs> I was successful, too. I got the uh, cars that the boys wanted for their train sets, and mm. I picked up a couple of things for Robbie and... Oh, man, we gotta get going or else your mother's gonna be entertaining our guests. Okay, can I do, just take a minute here first, just to, to, to have a breath before I go back and face that. That's why I took a detour down town in the first place. I had all that stuff to drop off at the mm. Fifth Street Clothing Drive. And, you know, I was down there. I was looking around. They're rebuilding it. It's, it's, it's nice. And that's great for Inferno because this is place, it's so close. Yeah. What's good for that neighborhood is good for Well, take a here. look around here. Take a look around. They're not doing so well. Oh, but they could. With the right music, a couple of menu changes, the good PR. Uh. I was kind of thinking of maybe going back into the real world and taking a public relations job again. <laughs> There's nothing real about public relations, Blake. Besides, you have a job. You're Miss Lonely Hearts. Oh, that's fluff. I want something I can sink my teeth into. Yeah, well, I thought we agreed that we were going to sort of take some time off to recover after our year from hell. Isn't that the reason you postponed writing your other book? Yes, I know. I know. I, know. I get a little jealous sometimes. Carly's always telling me her cop chasing stories, and Cassie's running the beacon, I, and sometimes I feel kind of unimportant. Well, you're the most important person in the world to me. But maybe that's not enough, huh? Oh, no, of course it's enough. No, I love you, you. My life with you and the kids, it's so full and wonderful. I was just daydreaming, that's all. Well, better stop, because we got to get going. OK. Can I follow you? I'll be right behind, I promise. I just want to stay here, and I'll pay the bill. OK. I love you. That <laughs> is all I need for Christmas. See ya. Wait till you see your Christmas present, Ross. Boy, are you going to be surprised. <laughs> what was that you just said? We've worked so hard to get this far. We have. So being with me is work, while being no. with Philip is pure Alan, pleasure. stop twisting my words. Do you have any idea, Olivia, who's been the heavy lifter in this relationship? Me. I have worked very hard to try to convince you of what we have is very that, that's special. That's what I'm saying. I know it is. I know that now. You have no idea the lengths that I have gone to for you. Yes, I do, and I'm so grateful to you. You don't have a clue. Then tell me. It doesn't matter. You've never taken us seriously. Your heart's always been somewhere else. No, that's not true. It's well, not... this tape they says all I explained that tape. That's why you didn't want to have a child with me. I was right the first time. No. Then that hogwash. Hogwash about us just enjoying our marriage, the two of us. You really would much rather have been with Philip. No. Oh, yes, oh, and having no, my child, you, having my child would have made you less available That's to him. That's not true. Please. You love what I afford you, Olivia. My money, my prestige. Oh, that is so unfair! You love what I have. And you don't want to lose what you have. Because if you lost it, you might not be as attractive to Philip. Stop. Oh, you love having Stop. both Spalding men panting after you, Stop don't you? Stop it, Alan. Stop I it. I through panting for you because the sight of you makes oh, me no, sick. Don't mean that. Get out. No, don't do this. Please don't do this. Out. Out. Oh, oh, right, Olivia. God. Yo, you saw the tape. You got your wish. Are you happy now? You knew about this? We will continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Tell me she uh, welcomed you back, Danny. Tell me she welcomed you back with open arms. Carmen, 
Even if she hadn't, it would be all right because we'd work it out. Even if I were to spend the rest of my life alone, I'd be better off because I would never have to deal with you again. No, you wouldn't. You'd be lonely and sad and filled with regret because you'd finally have to acknowledge that I was never the problem to begin with. You are. Oh, I am. First Michelle was the problem, now it's me. It was always you, Danny, mm -hmm. because you chose Michelle. Because you're fighting who you are instead of embracing it. So what, I could be more like you? No. So you could be better than me. You're smarter, more shrewd, more powerful. You have such greatness in you, Danny. Look at the way your devious mind worked in the last few weeks. Setting me up, it was brilliant. Together, the two of us, we could be so great, you and I. There is no together. There is no us. We look at where you are, I put you here. It's over. No, it's not over, Danny. Not if you don't sign that statement. I can get out of here. You confessed. If they have it on record, you can't make that go away. Evidence. It disappears, you know that. It could go away. You put a few grand in the right person's hand, and we could start all over again. Just like that. I know you want it. I know you want it to do that. Statement's uh, ready. Oh, so now you're making disparaging remarks about Gus's whole family, his father, who you don't even know, right? Would you like to insult the Pope Carla, next, maybe Mother Teresa? Come on. It was, it was just a casual remark. Yeah. Do you have to take everything so personally? Uh, it's Christmas. Okay, we're here for our son. Can we bury the hatchet for a half an hour? Hey, there's nothing I would like more than that. Good. Good. Oh, come on. Look, we both love Zach. No argument there. Right, and we both want what's best for him. We just happen to disagree about what that is. That is certainly an understatement. I know you miss him. Yeah, and he misses me, too. Well, of course he does. I'm not saying that he doesn't. But I have to tell you, you know, he's all right when you're not there. He asks for you a lot, especially at bedtime. But, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't spend the whole day pining. He's all right. He knows how much I love him. And he's very secure in the love that I have for him. He's a, he's a very happy, well-adjusted little boy. It's his turn. Oh, here we go. Merry Christmas. Hey. What's your Merry name, little boy? Well, uh, his name is um, Zach. He's just being a little shy right now. Oh, Zach. What do you want me to bring you for Christmas? Tell him, Zach, looks like somebody made a list here for Santa Claus. Well, it looks like it, but it's highly improbable. He yeah. can't even write his own Although, name. But, you know, he, he actually was drawing something before he left. Maybe, is that, were you, is that what you're doing? Are you trying to draw what you want, Zach? What? It looks like a pretty lady with blonde hair. <gasps> Maybe it's a doll. Is that what you want for Christmas? Ow. Hey, Mom. Down. You knew about this videotape? Yes, I did. How? Hotel security gave it to me on your wedding day. Why didn't you show it to me? It only confirms everything you've always said about Olivia. I wanted to, but I held back. <laughs> and now you're sorry because you've lost yet another piece of leverage with me. Oh, no, Alan, I'm sorry because you've been so hurt, but it's all irrelevant now. Irrelevant? <laughs> you call my wife cheating on me with my son irrelevant, Alexandra? Look, she wasn't your wife then, and I believe that she's been faithful to you ever since. Oh, but she lied to me. You lied to her about your heart attack. What are you saying? I am giving you a piece of advice, Alan. If you let this stupid incident on the elevator destroy your marriage, you are a bigger fool than I thought you were. Damn you, Alan. I tried so hard to make you happy. For what? Nothing. Nothing. Let's 
It was great seeing Santa, wasn't it? I think you're going to get everything you asked for. And you know what? Listen, you're going to go home with Daddy right now, okay? But I am going to see you on Christmas Day, okay? Won't that be great? Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss. Oh, his little face. And also, I have, um, I have his P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S. Okay. Okay? And I have some for Lizzie and James, too. So if I drop them in the morning, will that be okay? Uh-huh, sure. Where, where are you off to now? Oh, I've got to pick up Gus from the station, and then we have to head home to get the house ready for the annual Cooper caroling tradition fest. Everybody's coming over. Could be the whole family? Uh, well, almost, yeah. Well, tell everybody I said, hey, give my, give my best. Almost. <laughs> okay, well, thanks. Yeah. For this. Yeah. Thank you. I love you. I'll see you on Christmas, okay? Bye, Bo. Harley. Hey. How would you like to go spend the evening with Mom? You want to do that? Okay. We're going to do that. You can spend the evening with Mom. You know, Gus will be there. Okay. So enjoy the Caroline. And everything else. Just uh, don't let Buzz give him too much chocolate. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I'm going to see you soon. And pretty soon it's going to be Christmas. Mm -hmm. Have a merry one. You too. Yay! Let's just see Gus. I need to get my hearing checked. Did you just defend Olivia? So you still think I don't like her? I think detest is an accurate word. Look, Alan, I admit that at first I didn't trust her. So I put her to the test. I wanted to see if she was worthy of you. And I wanted to see something else as well. What's that? I wanted to see if she was capable of change. Mm. And she is, Alan, which is more than I can say for you, because you are making the same mistakes over and over again. Alexandra, are you condoning what she did in the elevator, yes or no? No, of course I'm not condoning it, Alan. It's over. It's finished. But since then, strangely enough, <laughs> Olivia seems to have made you very, very happy. That's because ignorance is bliss. She's actually made you seem human, which is something of a miracle. How will I ever be able to trust her again? You really do love her, don't you? I'm not sure I can answer that question now. I think you love her desperately, which is why you're so hurt right now. I think you'll be making a big mistake if you kick her out. Why are you so keen on keeping us together? <sighs> because I don't want to see you end up alone. I think you have another agenda. To grab the company and all of the goodies. <sighs> well, maybe so, but... Really, I want to see this family whole again. Are you sure you don't want to see your brother broken once and for all? Think what you want, Alan. See if I care. You are starting to sound more like her father every day. But I just want to say that if you let Olivia walk out of your life, what will you have left?
Hey. Hey. Harley here? No, Ray. She's, uh, she's not around. Uh, Want me to leave a message? Yeah, Take just that? just tell her to give me a call. We need to finalize arrangements with Jude for the holidays. You got it. No problem. Hey, Rick. Oh, my. You're alive. How's Michelle doing today? How do you think she's doing, Danny? She's upset, I know. And she's every right to be. Do I'm you, making it up do to you, her. Do you have any idea what you put her through these yes, last couple of weeks? I do, Rick. Let me just guess why you did it, Danny. You did it for her own good. You did it to protect her, right? That's right. Don't ever hurt my little sister again. It is time for you to grow up and be a husband and father, Danny. That's what I'm doing, Rick. Do I'm more. Doing my best. Do a lot more. Okay. The message received. Um, do you know, is Michelle home right now? Yeah, she's home. She's baking cookies, Christmas cookies, with my wife. So if I went over there, you think she'd kick me out? That's up to her, isn't it? Merry Christmas, Danny. That's a common statement. Sign it. Um... No, not yet. Do you, where do you want me to sign? Just uh, both places. Both both sure right here. Both. Good. All right. And okay, it's in the DA's hands now. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm fine. You guys are out of coffee, huh? Yeah. Oh, well. Should uh, say something about it? Yeah, you know, usable garbage. Like Nari, you know? Yeah. Hey! Hey! <laughs> yes! Hello, Zach. Come down to see me? Yes. Yeah. Seen you such a long time. And with no daddy inside. No, he's ours for the evening. Is that right? Mm-hmm. You go up to the mansion and punch out the button. No. No, how about Philip? No. No? No. Well, how did he agree to... I'll tell you later. Hey. Watch him for a second. How's it going? Hey. Now, wait, I ask you. Did you sign all the papers you had to sign? Did you yeah. see Santa Claus? Yeah, I'll sign. You did? What did he say? How touching. What did he say? You're good for the children, aren't you? Must run in the family. Your father must have been a good parent. Well, when he wasn't out chasing after the bad guys. Let me, please. Um. Did you say something, Carmen? Say something about my father. What if I did? Would that upset you? It's just that you're not good enough to utter his name. Because your father was such a good man. Gus. How ironic. What we usually think we know of people most often turns out to be far from the truth. Let's go. Do a minute. No, now. I don't want her to ruin our Christmas. In a minute, I would have. And I don't want her anywhere near Zach. Come on, your shift's over. Merry Christmas. Hey, Stan. I'm just making a call. So, um, listen, Don, see you too. Merry, Merry Christmas. Well, we'll probably see you at the Bowers. Right. Right. Uh, Michelle, hey, it's me. How you doing? Good. Um, well, I... I have a couple Christmas presents for you and Robbie, and I was thinking maybe I'd like to come over and drop them off, if that's okay. Great. Um, uh, how about in an hour? Okay, I'll see you then. Bye. 
I guess you'll be having Christmas alone this year, won't you? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm on my way to see my wife and my son right now and spend Christmas with them. So you can fall at her feet and she tosses you whatever scraps you'll take. Where's your pride? I've still got it left, Carmen. A lot of it. And the future. Yes, sir. Merry Christmas. How is it? Here, as fast as I could. Are you all right? This has been Guiding Light. 